Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov has called people calling for a hijab ban in Russia, enemies of Islam, and vowed to kill anyone who tells his daughter to take off her hijab. Kadyrov said this at a meeting of the Chechen government. Whoever tells my daughter to take off her hijab, I will kill on the spot, whoever it is, I will shoot. He is an enemy, my personal enemy, an enemy of Islam, said the head of Chechnya. At that moment, Kadyrov's daughter, Ashat Kadyrova, the vice president of the Republican government, was shown in the video. The head of Chechnya noted that many visitors from different denominations come to the Republic. We do not interfere with their clothing style, we do not punish them, but we encourage people to wear hijab. At the same time, Kadyrov said that he is against wearing a burqa that covers the face. At the end of May, the deputy chairman of the state Duma, Vyacheslav Devankov, presented a draft law that prohibits religious clothing, including clothing that partially or completely hides the face of educational institutions. The regulation states that the initiative is aimed at strengthening the secular nature of education. State Duma deputy from Chechnya Adam Delikhanov criticized the bill. He emphasized that the Chechen authorities will not approve of wearing a niqab covering the face, and that the hijab is a religious duty of a Muslim woman. Devenkov noted that there is no need for such restrictions in national republics where people are loyal to traditions. In June, the head of the Russian investigative committee, Alexander Bastrykin, called for an urgent ban on wearing the niqab in Russia in connection with the latest terrorist attacks by Islamists. After that, the muftis of Dagestan and Karakay Cherkessia imposed a temporary ban on wearing the niqab in their regions. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro has appealed to the country's highest court, requesting an audit of the presidential election after opposition leaders challenged his claim of victory, according ABC News. Maduro said that Venezuela's ruling party is ready to present all documents related to the election vote count. I throw myself before justice. I am willing to be summoned, questioned, investigated, Maduro said outside the Supreme Court building in Caracas. Maduro agreed to a first step toward election transparency, but the court that will review the results is closely linked to his government. Judges are appointed by federal officials and confirmed by the National Assembly, where Maduro's supporters hold the majority. The Carter Center, which monitored the elections, criticized this move, arguing that the court would not provide an independent review of the elections. The Atlanta-based group stated that they were unable to verify the announced election results in Venezuela. They criticized the complete lack of transparency during the announcement of Maduro's victory. Electoral authorities allowed the Carter Center to send 17 observers. Maduro's main opponent, Edmundo González, and opposition leader Maria Corina Machado claim they received more than two-thirds of the tally sheets, indicating Maduro's defeat. Venezuela's election commission announced that Maduro won 51% of the vote, continuing socialist rule. However, polls indicated an opposition victory. Protests demanded that Maduro concede defeat. International observers and the Carter Center stated that the vote did not meet international standards for fairness.